Well, jobs are getting harder and harder to come by in our economy, and it's not just the recession we're going through. I think there's more going on, you know, that, that stops from people getting the traditional jobs and the, um, you know, the careers and everything. My kids coming out of college can't get jobs. People get laid off, can't get jobs. I mean, look at the data here that um, there's now 12 million people that are looking for a job, that need work. 12 million, wow! <laughs> that's about what a wasted resource that's sitting there that, that our society can use that isn't being used. And I think a lot of this is they're going after traditional kind of jobs, you know, and they're not there anymore. And here, inside that figure, there's nine, you know, nine, 10 million of those 12 are just typically unemployed, but also, we have something called long-term unemployed, which is about three or four million. That means they've been out of work for a long, long time. And then we have another category called discouraged workers. <laughs> and we got almost a million of them. And then we have one or two million of people that, gosh, they sort of look for work. They're more than discouraged. Just once in a while, they'll look for a job. Yeah. So that's a lot of people you know, looking for work out there. So what I'm trying to do is show people that, you know, if you're not working, man, that, that gets, you know, works on your mind and things like that. Look at this data they just found out in the Gallup poll. The longer you're out of work, the more likely you're going to be treated for depression. See, that has to do something on your psychology or your mind or whatever. If you don't feel wanted or, or you can't contribute, man, there's nothing more rewarding than doing work, really. Maybe love is <laughs> another thing that does that. But that's, that's what we're here to do. So there's other non-traditional ways that you could get work. You know, I mean, there's, you can't go to the normal sources of putting in resumes and getting in lines at the unemployment office or answering classified ads or, or job placement agencies or banging on your friends and neighbors and things like that. I mean, that may work, but there's other things out there that are even more certain to work, really, to get money, to get through those hard times, and, and, and to do that, you know, in a respectable manner, and they're not scams. None of these things I'm going to tell you about are scams. None of them are going to ask you for money. Never give money to anybody who said, yeah, give me money, and I'll promise you a job. <clears throat> No, you're out of work. You're not going to do that. You, know, you just have to know where the jobs are. Now, instead of going banging on doors, you know, uh, to, to look for, hey, you need somebody to work or something. I mean, there's better things now because of technology where you put your name in to where people are looking for people in a hurry to work, are looking for help to do things. Maybe it's small things, maybe it's bigger things, all kinds of things that you could get work. And, and instead of banging on doors and hoping for something, no, you want to be at the place that people are going to get people to work for them. Yeah. I mean, I do that now. I, I don't go through traditional means. I go on these kind of websites or whatever. And what's neat about working this way on these websites is, is that, <laughs> gosh, I mean, you have no boss. You have no work schedule because you set up your own schedule. You work when you want, you know, you, for how much you want, you decide what you're going to work for and you just turn it down and, and, and you decide if you don't want to do something. So it also fills so many other needs I think we have as individuals, being a little more control of our work. And you do it at home or whatever and things like that. So these kinds of sites, I'm going to show you 25 websites now that will either do that for you. And again, they don't cost anything. So don't let people charge you money for you because you're out of work and they promise you a job. Yep. And actually on my YouTube channel, Matthew Lesko slash I mean, I'm sorry, YouTube slash Matthew Lesko 70. You can see video interviews of the people who run these sites and what it's really all about. So if you want more background information. So, okay, so to get jobs, where do you go with people hiring for jobs right now that you can make an extra 500 bucks, a thousand bucks or $40,000 or whatever, you know, right on the internet, you know, right in here. That, that's your ticket to so much uh, work that's available. And it's all over the country. Okay, here's some of the websites. Take a look at TaskRabbit, right? 
He's up for all their jobs. Somebody needs to do it. They, they didn't do them quickly. So they're going there and putting it on the website and they're vented. The people that are asking for jobs, I mean, they have to fill out big, long applications. It's not like responding to a classified ad or, or in Craigslist. You don't know all these scams and what people are putting on these things because there's no requirement. You just send them money and put it out there. You know? But here they're vented. So you know for sure, you know, uh, you're a lot more secure in dealing with this. And there's no charge. You have nothing to lose. Here's another one, gig walk. You know, that's where companies are looking for people all over the country, you know, just to do quick things for them. Go see this. We want to see what this store is like. And you make a quick extra money something. Odesk, O-D-E-S-K dot com. That's a, boy, they have all kinds. You can do customer service at home or whatever, things like that, for just an hour a day or 20 hours a day or whatever. See, I mean, this is the kind of thing. You don't have to go, you know, go to some office and bang on their door and fill out an application. No, all that kind of, Mechanical Turk, that's part of Amazon, you know. And they do the same kind of thing. Freelancer.com, Guru.com, Elancer.com. Or here's some other neat websites. To do that. If you're looking for to sell your services or whatever you think you could do for other people, there's something called like Fiverr. F-I-V-E-R-R.com. You know, for five dollars, you show somebody how you could do something. You know, like, hey, you want to know how to fix a leaky toilet or something? So you, but you, you do five dollars worth. Maybe you send them a little report. Here, here's the five things you have to look at for fixing the toilet. You know, a anything like that. Look at that Fiverr.com. It's hilarious. Some of the stuff that people do, and it's really not. You're going to make five bucks. You're, you're not going to pay the mortgage for that. But it's a way to introduce yourself to people who then could go for. You know, have you do more things than that. See, but people who need things done are looking at these sites. They're not coming down your street and banging on your door. Hey, will you do this for me? No, it's all here. You have to know what's going on here. And what's neat about the technology of these sites, they they do all the marketing for you. <laughs> They're finding you people who are looking for you. You don't have to go find people looking for you. They're doing it for you. you know? And that's why you want to be in these things. Well, here's another way to make money too. You have a lot of stuff in your closet you probably never wear again. Okay, here's, here's the, they call peer-to-peer -peer fashion. You could really, instead of going to, it's sort of like a, uh, consignment shops, but they give you more money than kind of consignment shop. You get like 50% more than consignment shop, you know, and, and you just send it up, they give you the packages and all that. So look at these sites, TradeZ, T-R-A-D-E-S-Y, ThreadFlip, and LikeTwice.com, all those sites are the so you have money sitting in your closet you don't even know about. Hey, you like taking care of pets. Well, here's a website that finds your customers. All you have to do is fill out a little form on the website, you know, and, uh, uh, and then people are looking for you. See, that's what's neat about this stuff. You don't have to go banging on every door in the street looking for the work. They're looking for you, so you're right there. That's why you want to be there and get this work. That's why more work is being done there you know, than the old traditional methods. It's called pet vacancy, P-E-T-V-A-C-A-Y. So you take care of somebody's pet going out of town for two weeks. You're going to be half the price as the kennel <laughs> and a hell of a lot nicer, right, than being with a pack of hounds. <laughs> and if you love pets, man, that's a neat little business you could do. And they do all the marketing for you. They do all the, you know, customers. They check out the customers and everything. So, you know, it's just a safe way to do little businesses like this where you're looking for work or instead of work or making a whole career out of this why not do it like that well here here's like like an uber and, and lyft.com and side.cr these places are you could drive people around like in a taxi you know and people are making like ninety thousand dollars a year doing this there's no regulations you don't have to get a license or whatever you just get vented by the website and the website gives you customers see that's what's neat about this you know that you don't have to, the hardest part of any business is finding customers anybody could do a product that's the easy part <laughs> like i could write a book on anything i i can't the, you know, finding the customers i, I spent in 90 80 percent or 90 percent of my creativity trying to find somebody to, write my, to buy my books <laughs> that's, so that's right you want to do pet sitting or what take care of pets you know in your home you know while people are away man that may be a big thriving business or you know use your car to drive people around and run errands or they have to do this see that's all on the app all on the phone you know and people want that you know you're a lot less than a taxi but you don't have that overhead see with all these businesses why they're they're popping up now in a new way of doing businesses what they call peer-to-peer -peer. you are providing a service or something for everybody else because you don't have a bureaucracy 
You don't have, you're not some, you're not Avis. Avis is going to charge, you know, gazillion dollars. You know, the taxi cab has to call it gazillion dollars because they need operators, they need all this other kind of stuff. And, and but no, just on a website, you know, coordinates all this thing. You put your name and car in there and say when you're available, and then stuff starts showing up. Yeah, that's how this kind of stuff works. Uh, or here, here's another thing. You have somebody else use your car. You, you know, the average person uses their car like only 20%. So 80% of the time, the car's sitting there doing nothing. Okay, you could be making this, this one uh, office uh, program called Relay Rides. Everybody who signs up, and they have like tens of thousands of people, make an average of $250,000, I mean $200, $250 a month. So that's an extra $250 a month, that's average. Some are making $1,000, $2,000, $4,000 even a month. You know, so that's what I mean, this could be a big business. You know? So you buy another car, if you're making you know, you know, $1,000 a month, you pay a payment of $300 and... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got a nice little business. Yeah. Uh, and, and that's called Relay Rides. And the other big one is Get Around. And all it means is, is signing up on the site with the car, whatever, and waiting for that phone to ring. That's the nicest part of doing business. And that's why about these websites, see, they do all the marketing. You open a store, nobody comes into your store. <laughs> yeah, you're out of business. Same thing. You put a website on there, you know, because you're doing this as a, uh, maybe your own website, your, your car's available. Who's going to come to your website? You know, but now when you're part of this big website that people are coming, thousands and thousands of people every day are coming to these websites looking for this kind of opportunity because they pay less than traditional means. So that means that you're going to have a service that is less than traditional <laughs> cost. So you're saving, you're making more money, they're saving money, and everybody is a win-win. So that's going to be more. There's even a company that when you go, you go down, it's called Flight Car. When you go to the airport, you leave your car with these guys. They wash your car. <laughs> they rent it out to people who need a car and they give you a big chunk of the money, right? And then they pick you up at the, you know, the drop-off point or whatever it is when you, you, know, you, you uh, uh, land back at the airport and then you take the car and drive home, a nice clean car and a, a wad of cash in your wallet. See, I mean, who would ever think? How are you going to go and, and figure out that that's an opportunity? You know, I mean, that's, there's not a job placement office for that. No, you have to know about this stuff that's going on there. And that's why this new economy, there's so many things going on that was never before there. So most people don't know about it. See, and you don't want to be the last. So you're looking for a spare change. You can't make ends meet, you know, or whatever. You're out of a job. This chronic unemployment, long-term unemployment. I mean, it, it, all this is serious business in our country right now. I mean, look at the data now that how debilitating it is not having a job. And the longer you you don't have a job, the worse it is on your, your, your well-being as a, as a person. So that's why it's important to investigate these opportunities that are out there. Or if you already have a job and you need extra money. That's what these things are, are good for. So how about, here's another interesting one, is letting people park at your house. <laughs> That's right. I mean, people are making like $4,000 extra because when people are, you know, flying into town or, or they're looking for a place to park, they don't want to play, you know, park at a, uh, somewhere else, you know, in a garage or something, they park in your house. You know, and you get paid for that. See, and, and see, you don't have to worry about the people, where they come from, why they want to park. That's all done online. And all you do is sign up, say, hey, my house and the front of the house is there, you know, for people to park. Or even at the airport, say you live three miles from the airport. Well, man, if you're going to make a couple hundred bucks, you can have the guy park there and you'll drive him to the airport and back, right? <laughs> I mean, that's a nice day's work. So that's what I mean. There's so many opportunities. And who would have known about that before, you know, this thing came along, the internet and all, all these ways. And, and again, see, that's cutting out the big organization called the parking lot management company, you know? So you could do it a lot cheaper than anybody. And, that, and that's what's happening in our side. You get things better, cheaper, and more satisfying. Or how about this? You realize there's 150,000 people a day looking for a place to stay that's not in a hotel. It's, and this website called Airbnb is worth billions and billions of dollars now. You know, because it's just people. You have a sofa. You know, you want to use your. You, 
<laughs> Somebody could use your sofa even. Yeah, you have an extra bedroom. You want it you know, for a day, a week, a year? I mean, a lot of us have big houses and rattle around and I'm empty, you know? Not a lot of people. Even then, you clean out that old room or whatever and fix it up and, and uh, make a couple hundred dollars a month, thousands of dollars a month, whatever it's worth. You have an extra, you know, uh, uh, apartment or something. Uh, this is it, it's temporary. And see the beauty of this, they do all the hassle. They even provide insurance too. So you don't have to worry about all that kind of stuff. You know? I mean, it's phenomenal what's going on. It's all on the internet. These are not big companies that need big overhead. It's a handful of people <laughs> running a website. That's it. So, so uh, as I say, it's not like, you know, Hilton Hotels has this big management structure you have to deal with. No, it's your bedroom, you know, and, and a website. And, and that's it. Uh, that's why the, the hotel Hotel people are, are getting very wor worried about this, <laughs> and that's why there's there's more ways to make a living, get jobs. You don't have to be unemployed. You don't have to be lack for work. There, you know, here's 25 ways, or, or here's another. You could grow food in your backyard. That's right. You contact your local county cooperative extension service. This is all free. They'll help you figure out how to do that if your yard's big enough. Yeah, <laughs> and it may be. I mean, look at there's like 8,000 farmers markets. Everybody wants local fresh grown food. So you grow it for yourself or somebody else, a neighbor, and there, there's now distribution systems to, to, to sell local grown food because it costs a lot of money to, to you know, uh, to eat strawberries from California because they got to drive them here, however the heck they get them here. But if you have strawberries locally that you're growing in the backyard, they'll be better, fresher, nicer. <laughs> and it's an interesting thing. You know? And so that's why these things are happening in our society. But you don't know about them because we're all stuck, particularly the older you get in life, the more you want to use the stuff that already worked. And the stuff that already worked doesn't work anymore. <laughs> and so you got to learn this other stuff. So there's no reason not to be employed doing something, not to be uh, contributing, not to be making some cash somewhere, whether it's extra or the only cash you have. You could do it with these 25 websites. And that's just a start. That's not everything. I don't know everything. Nobody knows everything. <laughs> but it's a start. And that's what you need.